I'm Martin Bailey, a photographer based in Japan since 1991. I run photography tours internationally and spend most of the winter in Hokkaido, the northernmost island of Japan, running my winter wonderland tours. I have over 30 years of photography experience and I'm totally fluent in Japanese. I've been traveling to Hokkaido each year since 2003 and personally handpicked all of the locations that we visit, so I'm the perfect host for your Japan photography experience. In 2017, we recorded our Hokkaido winter landscape photography adventure on video so that you can vicariously join the adventure and enjoy our minimalist photographer's dream tour. Welcome to my world. The Hokkaido Landscape Photography Adventure Tour is um, its 12 days. We, we meet in Tokyo at Haneda Airport. Most people fly in there or fly into Narita. And then we, we fly up here on a Monday morning and we spend 12 full days here. We arrive back on the Friday evening on the 12th day. And we spend three days in BA. The snow covered hills with beautiful tones and then lone trees, maybe derelict huts, things like that big flakes and the, the photos just look so graphic. And then we move on to the coast. We, we go over to the coast at Dumoi up to Haboro and then spend a couple of nights in each of the, few, the further destinations. If you go like 50k that way, it's Russia. Um, and it's, that's where the weather comes from. You know, we get this, this beautiful cold weather front comes down from Siberia dumped snow all over us. The, the beautiful landscapes in the winter is what really appeals to the minimalist photographer in me. And that's what people really enjoy doing while they're here with me. Once we've been to Wakanai, we go down the, the east coast of Hokkaido, uh, down to Monbetsu, and then down to Saroma Lake, and then cut back through and, and head home from a different airport. As a tour, it's very, very rich, and uh, there are very few places like this on the planet, really. how much I love this place. You know, the, the simplicity of what I'm seeing up here, it just, it, it does something for me that not a lot of other types of photography can. The screen is just white, with various shades of grey, and then the details on the boat just pop out from that. A bit of processing, and it's some of the most beautiful minimalist photography that I think you can do. And the weather, you can come into somewhere where you can almost guarantee that if you're here a couple of days, you're going to get great weather like this. Just something else for me. I can't wait to come here every year with a group. I don't think that's going to stop very soon. So here we are at the port in a small town called Omu and uh, just a quick note on some of the compositional things that I've been thinking about here. So we're, we've got these beautiful black rocks and the tetrapods. And then there's another line of tetrapods out in the sea that I, what I've basically done is I've lowered my camera down to the point where it lines up the end of these foreground top tetrapods here. And it lines those up with the distant tetrapods. And that sort of simplifies the composition because it blocks off one of the passages of water into the bay. We've got little road trips, you know, they're not normally more than a few hours at a time. Little road trips and we spend time on the bus, the camaraderie builds within the team. Everybody really just chills out as looking at images, processing on the bus. And as we circumnavigate the island, there's such an amazing sense of journey in this, you know, when you travel so far. We really enjoy the, the camaraderie and the sense of journey as we travel around. So here at the Toy Toko Fishing Port, we're working with the 
the boats obviously, the, during the winter, the sea ice crushes boats if you leave them in the sea. So they bring them out on land like this and it makes for great compositions. And what I'm doing right now is, if you see down here, I'm looking at the, the snow drifts that come between the boats. The prevailing winds will, will often just make the drifts form in between the boats. And that, of course, with the light in the right direction, gives us an opportunity to get this beautiful tonal qualities, almost like waves of snow between the boats. So I enjoy going wide, getting in both lines of boats, or going in quite tight and just getting the bottom of the boats with the snow and the drifts and those beautiful tonal qualities. What I always do is just make sure that I I've got the, the highlights on the edge of blowing out, maybe a, a few patches because it's totally recoverable in the software that we're working with now. But also just check the shadows and make sure that they're not butt up to the left side. You see that the generally in these conditions, the blue is going to be slightly further up. There's a lot of blue light reflecting around from this snow. So the blue is going to be a little bit further up from the red and the green channel. amazing scenes. I mean, what could be more fun than photographing in the blizzard and snow? On boats. This has been a great adventure and I'm very happy I came on this. Amazing single trees. I think for me, the highlight of the tour was the trees of BA. The snow conditions have been fantastic, um, have lent itself to the minimalist photography which I'm looking for. Martin is great, he's an inspiration. He's taken us to all sorts of corners here in Hokkaido and uh, I wouldn't hesitate to come back here again. I enjoyed both the trees in Bay and the beaches that we've been with lots of tetrapods and the ocean waves. Learn something about the culture and the food of Japan while, while we're at it. So excellent tour. Um, I would love to do it again someday. The tour was fabulous. We went to so many interesting places. I love the Tori Shrine. I love the trees up on the mountains in BA. And then there was the boat graveyard, which was also a close third favorite. Great group of people, and it's been a lot of fun. This is the second time I've been on this tour with, with Martin and his very able crew. The tour is also so well organized. Everything was flawless. The hotels, the meals, everything. Um, this has been a dream of mine for the last 10 years, being able to come here with Martin and travel around Japan. Um, I've loved the winter landscapes and the minimalist photography. And thanks to the crew and to Martin for a wonderful trip. My message to you is that if you've not been on this adventure, you owe it to yourself to get booked on one as soon as you can. I particularly like his style, I like his team. It all just works. Do it. Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimashita. Do we finally get to hug? <laughs> we hug, yeah! <laughs> Thanks a lot, mate. Come and join me in Hokkaido for the minimalist landscape photographer's dream location, the journey of a lifetime. Make some amazing friends and go away with some photographs that you'll treasure forever.